Well, hello there. Pop, we're waiting for you. Come on. Hey, hey, wait a minute. This your daughter? That's right. Well, you got a mighty nice looking family. Hey, how about let me buy you that drink you wouldn't have before? No, thank you. Come on, we have to go. Oh, I get it. All right. You don't want him to talk to me, that? No. Uh, I know when I'm getting the business. Hey, you think you're something else, huh? Think you're special, too good for words, huh? Let me tell you, you're nothing special, nothing special at all. Now listen, you just take easy, buddy. And your old man here, he's worse than you are. Crazy old artist taking pictures no one will buy. Now listen here. Uh, hey, uh, your daughter have a model for you? Now uh, she looks like she could be a model, nice built. Watch your mouth. Hey, now I'll say whatever I want to say. You got that? You say whatever you want to say, well, say it to me. Come on, Pop. Whoa, it's Mr. Burke Dudley. You got something on your mind? This is a great opportunity. Speak up. Come on, hey, wait. Uh, Mr. Burke Devlin wants me to speak up. Come on, Loomis, speak up, because you'll be gone in 10 seconds. Where will I be gone to? Wherever you came from. Who's going to send me there? I am. You know, you terrify me half to death. You see, you've caused everybody a lot of trouble in this town, but this is the end of it, right now. That's pretty big talk. I can do more than talk. You think you're a pretty big man in this town, don't you? Come on, no, no, no. no. Now, I get a kick out of these guys who act like they're so clean. When all the time they're trying to cover up their dirt. There's the door. If you're smart, you'll walk out of it. If you're not, you'll be carried out. Atta boy. Now you're talking like a real ex-con. <laughs> you're dead, jailbird. Cool it, Bob. I'll handle this punk. Anyway. 